The commercial dock companies had collapsed and management was handed over in 1909 to the Port of London Authority, the PLA for short. There were some permanent workers in the 1930s, but even the most skilled men could be laid off and taken on again by the port employer. The deal porters were the most remarkable dock workers, sorting and stacking planks in the Surrey docks where most of London's imported timber was unloaded. Charles Christopher, who worked there. You could never walk on the gangways. You actually have a rhythm, and if you've got timber on your shoulder or even on your back, it used to have a tendency to move. Now, that would be a movement on the top of your shoulder. Under your feet on your gangway, there would always be a movement on the gangway. So you had to create a rhythm, and you could not walk. You had to more or less half stride and run. You never had your two feet at any time together. Oh, the old boys were recognised as being skillful. It was a job that no other dock worker could be uh, allocated to, even from the Labour Exchange or, or even from the National Dock Board. Although the PLA had quite a number of permanent workers in their dock work, they would never allow a dill porter to become permanent. And if for some reason or other uh, a dill porter in during the slack season found a little corner of a wharf or something like that and started working there, and the, if the employer, whoever he was, like to look at him and would like to retain him, he wasn't allowed to. He, he was stopped. And the National Dock Board, the, or the sector manager, could go to that employer and say, I want this man, he's a dill porter, and take him away. And you had to carry a hook, like I've got here, to lift the cargo with. There were no forklifts or mechanical appliances, and this is a case hook. When you struck a case, you see, you, you hit your knuckles on a straight hook, and here's the straight hook here. This was all right for bags, you see. You wouldn't hurt your knuckles, but with cases, you would hurt your knuckles. But by having the S hook, you are all right. So, as I say, the work was arduous, and for small bags, you'd have a bag hook, which I've got here. And the merchants didn't like you using big hooks because the seeds or stuff would run out.